Aquarius, welcome to your gentle love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's up? What's going on? Show me Aquarius, please. What's up? Show me that Aquarian energy. What's going on for Aquarius? What's up? Okay, what's going on? Show me Aquarius, please. What's up? What's going on? Forgiveness, more or less the equivalent of Eight of Cups. Not just walking away, walking towards, but ultimately for me to walk away successfully, I forgive you, you forgive me, or even if you don't, I forgive us or I forgive myself. Okay, that's the idea. In order to move on, I forgive. Okay, blessings, with blessings. I move on with blessings. Okay, we separate with blessings and love. Oh my, our new love. With forget. oh God, the idea of forgiveness grieving some of you experienced a cycle a loss i forgive you move forward in blessings new love that kind of thing um okay this one might be a bit heavy guys okay with my blessings new love you know i forgive you you forgive me just blessings forgiveness love peace be with you go your own way that kind of thing i've been saying that for you I've been saying that for you a lot. Mm. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Aquarian energy. What's up? What's going on? Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius, please. What's going on? Show me Aquarius. Yeah, let's do one more. Show me. Aquarian energy, please. Show me. Some of you are just trying to balance up in basic communications right now. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for Aquarius? Mm -hmm to put the tablecloth back down make it easier to grip that's what she said recent past knight of swords taking action current queen of coin mm, you the star yourself your power card and your placement beautiful good okay that gives me really good confidence then the three of swords the future five of wands queen of wands ten of wands your advice is to communicate with that eight of wands your overall seven of swords there's some shit you're working through that you have not been able or capable of revealing yet your private thoughts your overall seven of swords there's things you're keeping to yourself at this time you're not ready to reveal them but it does look like this is self-realization up here okay in the future we got we got some exhausting stuff some fighting your advice is to communicate clearly your intent and actions don't keep it to yourself you're going to have to come out of this in order to make the most use of your energy you're going to have to come out of the kind of these are my private thought zone into the actuality zone, okay? Um, otherwise, be prepared for a long, exhausting fight. We want to avoid that because that bottom row is a little intense, honey. It's a little intense. I know you can be a fighter when you want to be, but that doesn't mean it has to be to your own detriment. So that's a lot of fighting. It might be that you need to reveal your private thoughts, your actions and intentions in order to lighten that. I know you. You're fixed air. You often feel that you do not have to explain yourself to anybody. And I'm fixed water, so I totally understand you. And as we both know, that can get us into a lot of fucking trouble. Sometimes we do have to explain ourselves. That way people are less inclined to fight us or argue with us if they understand what we're trying to do or to achieve. Make sense? Because you're trying to do something, baby. And it's under your guidance as the star. All right? So you are in your own power, and that's wonderful. But don't make things harder on yourself than it has to be. All right. Oh, forgiveness and blessings. Wanting to move on. Fight for yourself. Fight for love. Fight for freedom. I don't know. Let's take a look. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. For Aquarius, what's going on? I always think it's amusing, don't you, when people ask us to explain ourselves and you just kind of look at them like, why? <laughs> Only a fixed sign can do that, which is, we're looking back at the other person like, why? Why do you need to know what I'm thinking? Why do you need to know what I'm feeling? Why do you need to know what I'm doing? How does that benefit you? Why? Why? If you needed to know, I'd tell you. And uh, as boss as that is, and it is, this is boss energy. We're quite comfortable with it. It sometimes works against us, doesn't it? Yeah. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me that Aquarian energy. Show me that Aquarian energy. Show me that Aquarian energy. 
I know, baby, I don't like explaining myself either, but that doesn't mean I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Especially if we want peaceful transitions. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Knight of Swords in the recent past taking action literally towards healing or possibly towards a Sagittarius, but that healing concept was blocked. Why? Why was it blocked? Ah... Uh, we didn't want to move on. Powerful connection. Lover's energy here. Gemini. Could be Gemini. Could be Sag. We wanted to take action towards recovering from a lover. But we couldn't. Blockage. There's something there, man. There's some healing there. We're trying to get over a lover. We're trying to get over a powerful connection. But it's not easy. With that Knight of Swords, I know you was business, honey. I know you was business. You took it seriously. I'm going to... Block that. I'm going to get over that. I'm going to get over that person. I'm going to get over that Sag. I'm going to get over that Gemini, right? Or I'm going to get over that lover. Okay, give it time, time, and you're attacking time. <laughs> get over it. Get over it faster, Aquarius. Uh, that's pretty damn strong. I, hopefully it served you, but um, I don't know if that one was one or not. Nine of Wands is my insanity card. It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Exhausting yourself unnecessarily, especially if you're trying to attack this idea of a lover. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. It's not that big a deal. It wasn't that big of an attachment. It, you know, it all that. It didn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything. I can leave that shit behind. No problem, right? Mm -hmm. I know. I know, honey. You ain't got to tell me. Time is doing its job because temperance is a powerful card, but it's, it's slow. It's slow going to fully block what we felt or experienced with this person that we identified as a lover, which again, I will remind you, is a very strong connection. Current queen of coin with comfortable, but undecided about what your commitment. Do you have hope for it? You doubt that, but you're still moving forward holding back. Okay. Aquarius, am I seeing another? I don't know how far back this is. Granted, I don't. Recent past means nothing, really. This could be long ago and far away. A lover that we told ourselves to get over, but we never truly did. Present day, fast forward, honey, I'm looking at married Aquarius. Very married. You have good days in your partnership and you have bad days in your partnership, but we're not letting it go either. There's times when it feels bad, where your person makes you feel bad, but for the most part, you hold out hope that it will continue on. You're still holding on to it. There's days it doesn't feel so good though, and there's days when your comfort is not comfortable. Your home comfort. And uh, there's days it does not feel comfortable. It's quite the time jump. Quite the jump. We're going to see how these two play out, if they do at all. This lover's connection and your partner connection are not the same one. Not that I can see. So show me the star. What's going on, please? What's going on with the star here? Show me the star, please. That's you, the emperor. You are being, you're standing in your power about the ten of swords, the seven of cups. The options are over but you're still not decided. I'm looking at an Aquarius who said, if I had options in love or if I had fantasies, specifically if I had fantasies of someone else, I promise to give them up. I promise to give them up. It's over. I won't do it. It causes me too much pain. So I'm looking at Aquarius who kind of has a sigh in their heart space for that of the past, that very strong lover's connection, the one that was very difficult to give up, the one that was very, we, we determinedly wanted to give up. I'm, I'm giving that shit up. It's, it's over. It's done. It's finito. Yes? But it weren't easy, Nine of Wands. It was exhausting because the lover's connection is quite the strong. What happened between you two? I do not know, but you do. Okay. Probably just too much blockage to begin with. I'm seeing now, fast forward, I'm looking at a married Aquarius. An Aquarius who keeps telling themselves to cut out the fantasy. Cut out the fantasy. It causes too much pain. It causes too much pain to be thinking of the other or someone else. I need to focus on my commitment energy and we are firm about this we need to cut out the ten of swords we need to cut out the seven of cups no more fantasy no more options in love stop thinking about it it hurts too damn much but we're juggling to a coin it's so strong it's so incredibly strong show me the three of swords i'm going to go ahead and guess this is uh, the other show me this three of swords please show me this three of swords Show me this three of swords, please. 
Show me the three of swords, please. Come on, you. Three of cups. Knight of wands. Eight of wands. Oh, my. This, this other. They miss you a great deal. They are wanting to see you again. They're very much turned on by you. Very much. They would love to communicate with you and take action towards you, but they're a page of swords. So all their want energy is tied to a page of swords. In other words, they could do nothing. So there are three of swords. If this was an active third party, I don't know. It could have been an emotional third party. I don't know. Depends on how far apart these are. I don't know. But yes, they have a pain in their heart space when it comes to you. They know that you're in a commitment. It's duh. They long for you. They're still very turned on by you. They would like to see you. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You already know. Hmm. I've been seeing this conflict for you a great deal lately. It always comes in various forms, of course. Some of you, these are two separate people. For some of you, it's active. Sometimes it's just an energetic connection. Sometimes it's um, an actual physical connection. This person very much desires to physically connect with you to see you again. Very much. Three of Cups, Knight of Wands, over the Three of Swords. They also understand that it would be a third party if they did. So it's Page of Swords. They watch you. You as the Emperor have made a determination to stop juggling. Stop juggling, stop fantasizing about the other. There is no other. There's only me and my spouse, my person. You have made a strong determination in this. Very strong. As the Emperor over your power card. It's not negotiable. Right? the other that surrounds you. How far this went, I don't know. You do. And I don't fucking judge. Life is hard. I see shit all day, every day. And real tarot reflects real life as it was meant to. I'm seeing somebody's story here. And if it resonates, it resonates. And if it doesn't, then don't fucking accept it. Because then you're just making yourself angry for no reason. We do the real shit around here. Okay. As I have to constantly remind people. So. If you take it resonates, you leave it does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fucking fit. Whether or not there was overlap between these two energies, I don't know. They strongly suggest yes, but also not engaging, so I'm not entirely sure. Bare minimum, emotional third party. Minimum. But you have made a determination regardless as you, the Emperor, I, I'm killing these options, I'm killing the Seven of Cups, I'm killing the fucking fantasy, no more juggling. No more uh, juggling. You, your primary person might be Leo, Cancer, okay, um, Sag, or Gemini. Show me this future though, this future looks more combative. So what the hell's going on here? If you made such a strong declaration, what happened? Five of Wands, please. Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. Okay. 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 You will not compromise with the Six of Cups. It's in the reverse. No action. No action towards them. No action towards the Six of Cups. I don't know if that's your the lover or the spouse. I don't know. The fighting will change. The fighting will change. So if you're fighting, as far as I can tell, they're not engaged with you. The the lover, the other, the one that watches, and they wish to reconnect with you very badly. They're on a page of swords, so I don't know that they're actually arguing or being combative with you. So whomever it is that you are arguing with a great deal, and here's the thing, I really can't tell you, baby. I would if I could, because the lovers is a multi-layered bond system, so it's got the two and six of cups built into it, and then I'm also assuming that with your ten of cups here, there's also a soul bond, so I don't know. Whomever it is that you're fighting with, you're going to stop compromising with them, because it's not working. 
Uh, it's just the love is now in the reverse for them. Okay, whomever that is. And you're no longer going to take action towards that person. Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups in the reverse. You're going to move forward. You're not listening to your intuition about where your heart really wants to go. Okay. Okay. With determination here, so I'm going to go ahead and take a guess, then you're going to completely shut down the relationship, whatever that was, over here. Okay. I am going to go ahead and take a guess that you're going to shut that down. Uh, you're not going to try to work with it anymore. You're not going to try to compromise with it anymore. You're not going to fight against it anymore. You're not going to take action against it or towards it anymore. Um, with determination to, I refuse to acknowledge any love with this person. I am going to move forward. Here's the problem, baby, and this is the only reason I'm concerned, is that the high priestess, your intuition's in reverse. You're not listening to your intuition about your true emotionality, and I know that because the high priestess is in reverse with the knight of cups in reverse. This, this is not good. This is not so good, but I see a determination to move forward with what could literally be a cancer, um, regardless of your feeling for them. Okay, you just want the personal turmoil within you to stop. That's all I see, the personal fight. You're not listening to your intuition, your heart space wants someone else, but you're going to determinedly move forward with your spouse. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing here. Um, so that would explain the Ten of Wands. All right, show me what I need to see, please. Show me that Ten of Wands, please. Show me that Ten of Wands, please. Show me that Ten of Wands. Oh, for Aquarius. So again, honey, take resonates it. I'm on your side. I just read the cards as they are. Okay, that's my job. Show me. Show me this Ten of Wands, please. Mm -hmm. We're not willing to disrupt the household. We're going to keep it as is, and it's a strain. The current household is a strain, but we're going to keep it as is. It feels like the practical thing to do. Okay? Your advice is the Eight of Wands. Show me the Eight of Wands, please. Show me the Eight of Wands, please. Show me the Eight of Wands, please, for your advice. Show me the Eight of Wands, please, for the advice. Ten of Wands. You're going to communicate with action, okay, that you're going to resume your Ten of Wands without disruption. In other words, your, your burden, okay? Your, your relationship that's reflecting the Ten which you love that person, but it's also very difficult. You're going to continue on in that. You don't want to see new love as an option. You're actively rejecting it. Um, my only concern is that you're not using your intuition about what your heart really wants, but you're in a place where you just, you can't compromise or change the vision of your future. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we are showing energy towards it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, honey, I'm so sorry. The Knight of Wands, I was ready to say, there's there's a little bit of energy there. But the Four of Swords is in reverse. Um, you don't take a break. You, you kind of just resume. You just resume your energy. Okay. Where and how it's being expended. Um, you know. Show me the Seven of Swords, please, as your overall. The... Um, the thoughts that you need to confront yourself with. Show me the Seven of Swords, please. Show me the Seven of Swords, please. I'm sorry, honey, this is such a difficult one. Okay, the Nine. Okay. Your secret thoughts, your Seven of Swords, your overall. Um, you wish for independence. You do. You wish for independence. When you think about your independence, your defenses come down. Your defenses come down, but uh, you actively refrain from the ending, from making an ending. I do believe, secretly, Aquarius, that you do wish to abandon your ten. Regardless of this lover being here and them wanting to connect with you or desiring to connect with you, and they do, very much so, regardless, um, I see the strain in keeping this going, and I hope that you continue to have love in it, no matter how strained it is. I hope that you have love in it, and I hope that, um, you can coax more out of it 
one day. I see that you're not willing to end it. I know you desire secretly freedom from this, probably the whole situation. Okay. Um, but as far as I can tell, you're going to continue on. And um, that would explain it here, over here with the oracles. Forgiveness, blessings, and love. You know, we're asking for forgiveness. We'd like to move forward. Um, I want us to still have love between us, okay? I don't know that you're in a place where you can listen to your intuition in the future. I think you're doing what you can to preserve your committed energy, okay? No matter how difficult it is, or it can be. All right, there's still love there. And I'm seeing an Aquarius who's going to stick it out. Okay. Yeah. And it can get really real, you know? Okay. Finances and career on the split. Mm, that's for some of you. Okay. So I can see an Aquarius who's worked very hard to give up this other person's energy and determination to do so. Okay. Yeah, they do want to reconcile. I've seen it. It's very strongly under their energy. They have a great deal of passion for you. You do as well, but you refuse to show it. Um, very soon, most likely, we'll make your declarations known by then. Okay. All right. What's going on? Anything else, please? You're going to go into a place of retreat, of course. Show me. You know. Soulmate, whomever that is to you. Okay, you clearly have more than one here. One is a very strong bond system, which is the lovers, which I've heard, I'm sure you've heard me say, it is a multi layered bond system, which means it's not easily forgotten or gotten over, which is why I see you struggling so hard to let it go. It's the emotional, the mental, the physical, it's all that, you know, but you also have the soulmate here of a spouse. I see. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing, giving your relationship a chance. You're, you're not done with it. Maybe one day, but today's not that day. You're not done with it, as far as I can tell, energetically speaking. You're still taking active strides to keep in it. Okay? Okay. Aquarius, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.